If you want to improve your game's performance by joining sprites of the same size into a sprite sheet and you also happen to have Photoshop, then here's what you need to do. Open one of your sprites in Photoshop and find out its size in the bottom left corner. Remember these numbers or write them down somewhere. Click the File tab and choose New. In the Widths cell, write the widths you've learned in the previous step multiplied by the amount of columns you want to have in a sprite sheet. In the Height cell, write the height multiplied by the amount of rows you need. Finally, click Create. The search step isn't necessary, but it will speed up the process for you, especially if your numbers are easy to calculate. Go to the Edit tab and choose Preferences, Guides, Grid and Slices. Find the common factor for your width and height, some number that can be used to divide both of the dimensions of your sprite. My image has square dimensions, so I'll just write one of its sides. Go to the View tab and put a tick next to Snap, and in the Snap 2 category choose Grid. Next, go back to your sprite. If it has multiple layers, it may be better to duplicate and merge them all. Add a new layer beneath it and fill it with solid color that easily stands out. Select both of these layers by clicking on them while holding Ctrl, copy them with Ctrl plus C and return to our new sprite sheet. Paste the two layers with Ctrl plus V and start dragging them while holding Ctrl. If you have the grid from step 3 turned on, release Ctrl to allow your picture to snap into its place without any problems. If you skipped that step, you can try to eyeball where the sprite should land. Then you'll need to zoom in until you can see separate pixels on the screen. To do that, scroll the mouse wheel while holding Alt. Finally, put the image where it needs to be with the help of Ctrl plus directional arrows on your keyboard. And that's all it takes to make a sprite sheet. Now you just need to repeat this process for all of your sprites and delete or hide our extra background layers. If you delete the background and need to move any of the sprites in the future, you can create a new layer with the help of the same grid snapping. Select an area on the grid with a selection tool and simply fill it in with Alt plus Delete. The pictures I used in this video are from my upcoming puzzle game named Shatris. If you have a spare second and you'd like to support this channel, please click a shiny green button on its Steam page. Thank you! And that is it for today, I hope that this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question, opinion, request or suggestion, please leave it in the comments to this video. Farewell.